in this piece that what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to draw this half pyramid for Mario. So first of all, what we need to do is to take an input n from the user. So I'm going to declare a variable n and then I'm going to use the do while loop to take input. And the reason for doing that is because I want my n, if the n is less than 1 or if n is greater than 8, then I want to repeat this loop and I'm going to repeatedly ask the user for an input value. So I'm going to ask the user for height, right? If I can see here, I'm going to ask the user for height again and again and again, h-i-g-h-t. And after doing this, what I'm going to do is I have to essentially uh, draw this pyramid. So now the logic for drawing this pyramid can be a little bit complicated for begin beginning programmers. So uh, we're going to start off with taking a simple example, for example, n equals 4. Let's take n equals 4. If n is equal to 4, the pyramid looks something like this, right? Uh, I'm going to draw the pyramid. Okay. And if this is my left hand side of the screen, I'm going to just number these rows and columns starting with 0 because in computer science, we start counting from 0 uh, because the arrays that we're looking at start from 0 and end at n minus 1. Anyway, so if we look at this pattern, what has happening here is uh, we want to essentially distinguish between these columns, which are uh, blank spaces, and this column, and these uh, sort of cells. So these cells and these cells are different. And how do we do that? Well, uh, the most important thing to look in, look for in this problem is this diagonal, this diagonal, right? If we can somehow understand what's going on at this diagonal, we can say that we can we can understand something about the problem. So if we look at this diagonal, what's happening is let's take uh, the sum of let's let's try to see what's going on here. So if this is the row number and this is the column number, uh, what is special so special about this diagonal? So if we care to look at this, uh, if row plus column, what's happening here is if you just try to add row and column, you get three over here. If you add row and column over here, you get three over here. If you add row and column over this side, you get three again. You get, if you add row number and column number again on, over here, you get three. And anywhere, like anywhere which anywhere which any cell which has like the number, the sum, if the, if the sum of the two numbers is greater than three. So for example, it's four over here, it's five over here, and six over here. So whenever we have the row plus column greater than or equal to three in this case we are supposed to print hashes right if you can see and whenever the sum is sort of less than the row plus column sum if it's less than three then what we're going to do here is you can see we are having we should print blank spaces in that place so my for loop that i'm going to start is going to start uh, let's call this the row number as i and column number as j so if I'm going to start off my for loop, I'm going to say int i equals 0 all the way till where. Now if this is uh, 3, what should be, like, I'm taking n, a generic n from the user, and not the number 4. So if I want to see what's going on, let's take one more example. Let's take the example of 2. So what's happening in 2, if you see, uh, what's happening here is that we are, again, seeing the same pattern. Whenever the sum is sort of like you can see the sum of i and j i and j or row plus column row plus column over here whenever it's equal to one then we should should print a hash greater than or equal to one then we should print a hash right because the row is one here row plus column is one here and the row plus column is two over here okay just to repeat what's going on here what's going on subs, uh, is that what we're doing is we are going from 0 to n minus 1 in both the directions if you look at this right look at this guy we were going from 0 to 3 which is n minus 1 0 to 1 which is n minus 1 again and whenever what's happening is in this sort of rectangular structure whenever we have the sum of i let's call the row number i and the column number j the sum of i plus j if it's n minus 1 0 plus n minus 1 is n minus 1 1 plus n minus 2 is going to be somewhere over here right it's going to be n minus 1 and so on right so whenever the these uh, blocks these cells are n minus 1 and above that so if it's going to be it's going to be n over here 
and so on, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if the row number, which is I in this case, and the column number, which is J in this case, if row plus column um, is equal to equal to n minus one, or if it's greater than n minus one, I'm going to print f a hash, right? Otherwise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to print f a blank space, something like this. So this is going to be my logic. Okay, so let's uh, try to program this in. Program this in. So I'm going to start with int i equals zero, i less than n i plus plus, and this is representing my row, which is this guy right over here, my row, row number. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to iterate over the columns, j and j is less than n, j plus plus, because for each i, I have to iterate, I have to start j from zero all the way to n minus one, right? If j is less than n, so j will go till and including n minus one. So this is going to be my structure. And then what I'm going to say here is if the row number plus the column number, what is the row number? i, i plus j, if that's greater than or equal to n minus one, right? Because this, this, this diagonal elements, all the diagonal elements, the sum of the row and the column was n minus one. So I'm going to say if this is greater than or equal to n minus one, I'm going to print f a hash, okay? Otherwise I'm going to print f, otherwise I'm going to print f a uh, blank space, okay? And then what I'm going to do is, after this this entire row has been printed either with hashes, either using hashes or by space, after this row is finished, I need to print a backslash n right after this, which is a new line, and backslash n after this, and backslash n after this, and backslash n after this. So I need to give a backslash n over here. So this should do the trick. Let's start make Mario to compile this code and then do dot slash Mario and let's give height as eight and this seems to be working. If I enter my check fifty on this and so this is one way of solving the problem. There can be many ways of solving the same problem uh, another way could be you could draw these guys out these spaces separately you can think of you know uh, first printing the spaces and then printing the hashes right so that's another way of solving this problem in that what we'll do is we will essentially save time by you can also create a function for this so let's think about another solution for this right this is one solution the other solution is to obviously start with whatever we had last time and then you know think about this a little bit differently instead of uh, having a condition on i and j what we can do is we can draw we can draw the spaces separately we can draw the spaces we can say you know what, uh, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, if I take n equals 4, and I want to draw this pyramid structure, I can say I want to first print these, these many spaces, and one hash. So I, if i is 0, then I want uh, i plus one number of uh, hashes, and I need how many? 1, 2, 3, and I need a sort of like n minus four minus three three hashes so in this case what i need is three blank spaces and one hash so three blank spaces is essentially n minus one minus i number of spaces right because on the next iteration i would need two spaces and two hashes okay so there are i plus 1 hashes, i is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. So there are 2 hashes and n minus 1 minus i, which is 4 minus 1 minus i is 1, 2 number of spaces. So this is the pattern that can be observed here. This is essentially what we want to do is we want to create these kind of sort of structures 
so that you draw you can you're able to draw this pyramid so what I'm going to uh, trying to do is I'm essentially I'm trying to say that I need print uh, what do you want to print something like I want to hash I want to space how many number of times I need I plus n minus one minus i number of spaces and I need hash how many number of hashes I need do I need I need i plus one number of hashes right and so I can now define this print function print function if you care to note this is not already defined included here so I need to declare this function I will say void print I'm going to take in a character C that I want to print out and I also need a number of times I need this to be printed so I need to create that function over here so I'm going to say void print uh, the number of what character I need to print character C and the number of times I need to print that character so I'm going to say for in this is simple I equals 0 I less than n I plus plus what I want to do here is I want to print print f that character C percent C comma uh, C and then finally I need to print f a new line character right no, not a new line character I don't need a new line character over here I need to print a new line character over here so I'm going to print f a new line character over here so let's see if this works or not I'm going to make Mario again make Mario oops char c character should be single quotes so I'm going to just do that oops and make Mario dot slash Mario I'm going to give height as 8 and this seems to be working as well let me just check 50 on this so let me try to reiterate while this is happening what is going on in this problem I'm going to summarize this so first of all what is happening is we are uh, asking the user for an input and if the input is invalid I'm going to repeatedly ask the user again and again for the input so after that what I'm trying to do is I'm uh, trying to tell I'm trying to iterate from i equals 0 all the way till n minus 1 so if i is less than n i goes from 0 to n minus 1 so what then what I'm doing is I'm printing space a blank space how many times n minus 1 minus i and how does this how did I get to this formula I just tried a bunch of things and I found that this pattern is repeating so it's n minus 1 minus uh, n minus 1 minus i number of times I need to print uh, space and I need i plus 1 hashes so then I created that function and to, to print a character a certain number of times I just used a for loop over here and that's pretty much it cool if you like this video hit the like button uh, share and subscribe to the channel peace